Hello, welcome to Addiction of a Lifetime. I'm your host, Audrina Camo, and in this episode, I'm recapping Terror in the Woods. Uh, this is Lifetime's take on The Legend of Slender Man. Uh, this movie doesn't say Slender Man. I don't know if it's copyright issues or what, um, but they said Suzerain, Suzerain, instead. It's based on the true story. Um, I watched a documentary on it, I think it was on like HBO. It's very scary about these kids in Wisconsin who thought this legend online, urban legend, Slender Man, is like the modern day technology version of Boogeyman was like legit real. So <laughs> the movie details that. And the acting of this movie is friggin' phenomenal. I had to IMDb the entire cast. Um, the main, like girls, the main kids, first or second major role ever in life. And the acting is just phenomenal. Like they should totally get like awards for it. Um, I would be scared to audition against these children. Dead serious. It stars the woman from The Office, um, the one who's Dwight's like baby mama or whatever, um, and then the guy from Gotham, who is like the Penguin's right hand man. Um, so basically. This girl is living with her stepdad, her parents are separated. She's really obsessed with the suzerain and how like he captures you and makes you his princess and lives in the woods and he can like destroy your family. Um, it's terrifying. She's like watching on her iPad at night and she's starting middle school. She has no friends. She sees this kind of gothic looking girl who's wearing all these like black gloves she's like thinks she can bond with her the girl and her end up talking on the bus they become friends uh the girl already has a best friend who's like your typical like kid she likes fairy princess stuff and it's pretty chill yeah it's not into creepy stuff like scissoring but um so she wants to introduce her childhood friend to her new friend and all they can talk about is scissoring but also, the girl who is introduced to the Scissoring Girl has, her dad has like bipolar, like either bipolar, schizophrenic, or both. I, I believe in the movie he had bipolar. Um, and he's on like a ton of meds. And they're just trying to find the ones that work. And when you have a chemical imbalance like that, it can become hereditary and the girl has it and they don't know because the doctor thinks she's too young to be diagnosed but the girl's like hearing voices and has imaginary friends and you think oh the kid should have imaginary friends but no the girl's like bipolar and all this other stuff and when you put this other girl who has a childlike imagination who's really into creepy stuff like the scissor in, on top of that and he's telling her like it's real and showing her all of these videos it gets way out of course. The girl believes Cesarin's real. She believes she sees it. She believes it tells her to do things in her brain. Same with the other girl who's like, you've seen it, so it must be real too. And then the normal friends who's like, she's just like, you guys are scaring me. Like, we're kids. We're like 12 years old. Like, I don't want to know about this. Stop talking about it. So anyway, the girl's like going through all this like manic behavior in her head. She thinks Cesarin's going to kill her and kill her family and she tells the girl like I, I hear voices I hear things talking to me like do you and the girl like agrees like sure yeah imagine your friends but not the level the girl is feeling it so she's like you know what we have to prove to the kids at school and our family and everyone that the scissor is actually real we have to prove our loyalty to him loyalty to him by like doing a human sacrifice like giving him a human sacrifice like sacrificing something alive and first they're talking about like animals and birds and cats and birds but they're like no it has to be a non-believer so the girl the regular like kid but sacrifice her and this is her friend her best friend from childhood saying this to the new girl who introduced her to the southern and your girl's like sure and they're like oh we but and the girl's like tried to act more peaceful but we can't hurt her i've known her my whole life so they have a sleepover for the girl's birthday the mom doesn't notice and things off she takes some roller skating they're like on their ipads at night hanging out and they're like we're gonna set the alarm at midnight and do it when she sleep and the girl oversleeps 
And the other girl who introduced her to says her and's like, did you do it on purpose? She was like, yeah, and she's like, yeah, I don't think we should do it anymore. And the girl's like, yeah, that's great. And then the girl has another episode later that day. It's like, you know what, we should do it. Let's take let's take her to the woods and let's do it. And the girl's like, all right, all right, all right, I have a plan. Let's play princess. And I capture her and tie her up. And then you're the person who's supposed to save her, but you really kill her, like push her in the water and kill her. So they go to the park on her birthday and they are like, oh, hey, you're, let's play fairy princess. It's her birthday. Do what she says. They tie her up and tell her to close her eyes. They push her in the water. She doesn't drown. So they're like, oh, that didn't work. You know, whatever. And the girl was too scared to do it. So they're like, all right, let's, let's take her far out of the woods and do it. And they packed, like, knives and scissors and all this stuff. And they take her out to the woods. And the girl that she's known her whole life starts stabbing her. It's so graphic for a Lifetime movie. Or just in genre a movie with kids I don't know it's insane and they like they start realizing what they did was like crazy because there's blood and so they push the girl like behind something and like leave her there and they run off into some store and throw away everything and tries to clean up all the blood meanwhile uh, like someone who was like fishing nearby sees the girl they tell the parents what happened and they catch the girls on the side of the road. They put them both in mental facility. The girl who like did the stabbing is like locked up forever. And the other girl is like in a solitary. The other girl is like in a group kids home. And that's how it ends. And it's crazy. I had to look up like the actual story on 2020 after watching it. It's so scary. But um, you know, just in time for Halloween, <laughs> I watched that and Oh, terrifying true story of a kid's imagination gone horribly horribly wrong that was terror in the woods well thank you for watching i'm audrina camo this was addiction of a lifetime please like share and subscribe thank you